a black-haired woman regains consciousness in a world enveloped by haze. She hears a faint voice. It sounds similar to her little sister's voice, but also different. Wrong. My sister. I have to save my sister. The woman's dim memories slowly become clear. The blow she'd taken, her sister screaming, the soldier's words. Her only sister, her only family. She must save her. As she runs, the woman's world is enveloped in a shimmering wall of white. When the woman wakes anew, she is lying on the floor of an unfamiliar prison. Something is terribly wrong. She looks down at her body and stifles a gasp. One arm and one leg have been replaced by mechanical substitutes. And her black hair is now as white as snow. Where is my sister? She dashes off through the dim prison in search of her missing sibling. Dispatches both her cell door and its guard with equal ease. Only then does she realize the truth. Her body is now a terrible weapon. As this knowledge sinks in, darkness envelops her. When she interrogates the dying guard about her sister, he grins madly and says, Our kingdom will invade all. Every country will bend the knee to our might. Then we'll experiment on the survivors and turn them into beautiful killing machines. Oh yes, they will be sorted. With these final words, the soldier dies. The woman begins to run. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. 
She repeats the mantra as she runs, praying that somehow her sister has escaped this fate. past. 